Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Microsoft Defender Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge with Intune. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen is a Windows built-in security solution that helps a user to be protected against phishing, a malware websites and malicious applications and the downloading of potentially malicious files. It determines whether a site is potentially malicious by analyzing visited web pages looking for indications of suspicious behavior. If Microsoft Defender Smart Screen determines that a page is suspicious, it will show a warning page to advise caution. Checking the visited sites against a dynamic list of reported phishing sites and malicious software sites. If it finds a match, it shows a warning to let the user know that the site might be malicious. Smart screen also helps us whether a downloaded app or app installer is potentially malicious by checking downloaded files against a list of reported malicious software sites and programs known to be unsafe. By configuring the Microsoft Defender Smart Screen in Intune, we can protect against potentially malicious files and websites on Intune managed devices. We will use Windows 10 device to test the Defender Smart Screen functionality with Microsoft Edge. For the test, we turned off all smart screen settings on this Windows 10 device. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. To validate if smart screen is working correctly, we can use URL prep Microsoft Defender Test Ground website. Let me access that website. Under Scenario Demos, click on Is this phishing link? Since smart screen is currently disabled on this device, user can access the website. Let me click on phishing page link. And as we can see, user can access the website as well. After configuring smart screen for age, we will again check the result for the same test. We will configure smart screen using Intune administrative templates. So we will configure only the required settings for Microsoft Intune on Windows devices. First, sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later Platform. Click on drop down arrow and select Templates Profile. Click on Endpoint Protection and click on Create. Provide a meaningful name for this device configuration profile. We have given name, test, configure, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. Click on Next. On Configuration Settings page, click on Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. Enable both settings to enable Smart Screen. Click on Next. In the Assignments page, click on Add Groups. We have created one device group named Taste Client 02. We will use that group to target our Taste Windows 10 device. From the list, select Taste Client 02. Click on Select and click on Next. On Applicability Rules page, click on Next. Review the settings which we have configured for this device configuration profile. Click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, profile created successfully. Next, 
we will create one more device configuration profile to customize smart screen settings for Microsoft Edge web browser. Click on Create Profile. Select Windows 10 and Later Platform. Under Profile Type, click on Templates. Under Template Name, click on Administrative Templates. Click on Create. Again, provide a meaningful name for this device configuration profile. We have given name Taste Configured Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge. Click on Next. Under Computer Configuration, click on Microsoft Edge. Scroll down and click on Smart Screen Settings. Configure Microsoft Defender Smart Screen Policy needs to be enabled so Microsoft Defender Smart Screen is turned on and the end user cannot disable Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. Enable Configure Microsoft Defender Smart Screen to block potentially unwanted apps policy to block potentially unwanted apps like adware and other low reputation apps that are hosted by websites. Next, enable Microsoft Defender Smart Screen DNS request policy. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen will made DNS request to get the IP address and these IP addresses will be used for IP based protection. Let me enable this setting as well. Next, enable new smart screen library policy to load the new smart screen library for all checks on site URLs or application downloads. So select enabled for this setting and click on OK. Next. Enable Microsoft Defender Smart Screen checks on downloads from trusted sources policy to check the download reputation from files that are downloaded from trusted sources. Let me enable this policy setting as well. Next, we have setting named Prevent Bypassing Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prompts for site policy. We need to enable this setting as well. With this setting configured, users cannot bypass the Microsoft Defender Smart Screen warnings about potentially malicious websites. This policy needs to be enabled. Click OK. Let's click on the last policy. Due to this policy setting, users cannot bypass the Microsoft Defender Smart Screen warnings about unverified downloads. So let's enable this policy setting as well. Select Enabled and click on OK. Let me click on this setting. If we enable, configure the list of Microsoft Defender Smart Screen Trusted Domains Policy, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen Trusted Domains specified by us. And for that, you just need to select this radio button, Enabled, and then specify the domain name which you are considered as a trusted domains. But in this example, I'm not going to configure it. Let me close this. So we have configured total seven settings. I'm going to click on next. On scope tags, as we can see, default scope tag is already selected. We will go with default scope tag. Click next. In the assignments page, click on add groups. As I have mentioned earlier that we have created one device group named Taste Client 02. We will use that group to target our Taste Windows 10 device. Click on Select and click on Next. Review the settings which we have configured for this device configuration profile. Click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message. Profile created successfully. Click on Refresh. We can see the updated profile list with newly created device configuration profiles. We have created total two device configuration profiles. The policy will start to apply to devices during the next Intune check-in. Now to test the result, let's go to our Taste Windows 10 device. 
Let's perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for sync process to finish. After waiting for around 5 minutes, still the sync process in progress. So I'm not going to wait for sync process to complete. Let's close it and let's restart our Windows 10 device. After restart, sign in again to this Windows 10 device. Let's perform manual sync with Indune. Since our last sync was not successful, and that's why I'm going to click on sync. And here we can see some of the policies are there. Microsoft Edge and Smart Screen. I think the policy is applied successfully on this Windows 10 device. But let's wait for the sync process to finish. Okay, last sync was successful. Now open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type edge colon double slash policy. From here, we can check if our configuration is successfully applied to our device or not. We can confirm all seven configured Microsoft Edge policies are successfully applied to our Windows 10 device. All the policies value are set to true. Uh, let me minimize this and let's open Windows Security app. Click on App and Browser Control. Click on Reputation Based Protection Settings. We can see all the settings are on. We can also see the message, this setting is managed by your administrator. So now end users are not able to change these settings. Even if user want to turn off these settings, now it is not possible. Let's go back to Microsoft Edge web browser. Access the URL prep to validate if smart screen is working correctly. Now, page known for phishing should be blocked in Edge. Under scenario demos, click on phishing page link. Since smart screen is now enabled on this device, user cannot access the website. User will receive message this site has been reported as unsafe. Let me close this and let's click on is this phishing web page link. And here we can see one pop up is there that this might not be site you want. If you are sure about this site, then you can report as safe or unsafe. This means all the configured settings for smart screen are working successfully on our test Windows 10 device. We can also confirm it from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click on Configure Microsoft Defender Smart Screen Profile. Click on View Report. And we can see check in status success for device LabWin 10 CLI 02. Click on Configuration Profiles. And now click on Configure Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge Profile. On the monitor, click on Device Status. And we can see Deployment status succeeded for our device LabWin 10 CLI 02. That's all for this video on how to configure Microsoft Defender Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge with Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.